My, the, the person who was a father to me in the ministry is Kenneth Hagen. Is somebody who was a father to me in the ministry. And years ago when somebody introduced his, him, his book to me, he gave me a book and I, I read it. It was a little book, half this size. Uh, my whole life and ministry changed. I was, a young, I, was a, I was in secondary school. But when I got this book, I became interested in him. I didn't know that. Then I started to read more of his books and listen to his messages. I found his preaching. Ah, and I searched for and I found more and more and more and more. I was now an avid listener to Kenneth Hagin, but I didn't know what I was doing. And one day in medical one day in medical school in 1988. And this is going to happen to some people. Yes. One day in 1988, I was in a town in Ghana called Suhum because I had to be there for one month in my final year of medical school. And whilst praying, I was kneeling down and praying in the middle of the night. I never thought of what was about to happen. I never wanted what was going to happen to happen. I never knew that it could happen. But I had grown, you see, my heart was turned towards Kenneth. I saw him as the greatest and I still do see him as the greatest prophet. In fact, if anybody knows of any other greater prophet, you can see me after church, we compare notes. <laughs> yes. You know, before you receive from someone, you have to see the person as great that is what it's talk, talk about turning the, your heart towards the person jesus saw john the baptist as the greatest he said there's no greater person that is born of a woman there's no greater person john the baptist jesus when jesus was asked how do you become what you become he, he mentioned john the baptist and he saw him as the greatest prophet who could has ever walked on the earth until you start to see people as the greatest in a certain sense you're not really going to receive from them and when you criticize your father, you don't see him as great. Oh, he talks too much. He's like this. He's, he's nervous. He's, uh, he's, he's not patient. He has a bad character. His marriage is not working. These are all kinds of things. You, you, your spirit will not be open towards that person. So my heart was open towards Kenneth Hagin. I had not heard anybody criticize him before. I didn't know anybody whom Jesus will appear to and speak to for two hours. And that night I was kneeling down and I was praying. 2 a.m. I started praying at 7 but I fell asleep. Don't be sad when you fall asleep when you are praying. I woke up. I woke up. And I just continued praying. And he was preaching. Can I think he was preaching the tape? The tape was going to and fro like this throughout the night. And I was listening and praying. And suddenly something jumped out. You see, my spirit was open. Something jumped out of the tape and entered me. And I could feel it. I felt it entering me. And then I heard a voice in the room. In 1988, in June. And a voice said, from today, you can teach. Yeah. From today, you can teach. And today, and he said, I'll prove it to you. <laughs> and that was a different voice. And from that moment, I believe I became anointed to teach. Now here I am, 20, how many years later? 30 years later. I'm standing here. I'd never written a book. I was a student. He said, from today you can teach. I had a, a church with 25 members. I know what it's like to have a church in a classroom. My church was in a classroom. That's why I'm talking about blessing. Unless God blesses you, things don't work. 25 members that grew. From then, it started to work. Slowly, slowly, slowly. From today, you can teach. From today, you can teach. From today, you can teach. Oh, Kama Sopala Mashomba Ramangali Baba. 
he said to me from today you can teach and now this teaching is is all my life that's the anointing he said the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach or to teach i became anointed to preach and to teach and i'm standing here today 40 million books an african i'm not american i'm I'm not american from ghana nobody would even publish my books in america because i was not american don't don't think i didn't try i tried <laughs> but today i go to so many places people they just know i read your book i read your book i read your book i was blessed that's the power that comes when you are open in your spirit towards a father you see that is why satan tries so hard to blacken the image of people to accuse and to 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 give you some reason to question you see until your spirit is open you can't receive from someone when you have little stories and all these comments and accusations and things that are said your spirit closes up and you say oh be careful of him be careful of this person you know you don't know what is is happening there are things going on ah we come from the background we know all that is happening and so your spirit gradually closes up but until you open up fully you never really receive why does a woman give birth to a child because she has been with somebody whom she has opened up fully to yes oh i think maybe i should go to tanzania to explain this kind of things yes she has opened up fully there was no restriction no holding back no restraint no covering not this nothing she just opens and and i want to tell you as a young person or whoever you are in them until you are fully open to someone in the spirit you will not really receive what the person has oh yes oh yes so you think of all the great men of god think of reinhard bonke think of benny hin i mean one time i was with benny hin somewhere we were having a dinner in ukraine and uh, you'll be there you'll be there soon and he told he told me something he said he said you know when i when i look he was even looking at his phone and the messages were coming he said sometimes when i see the things that are being written about me i ask myself is it me they are talking about is it me the things that are being said the stories is it me they are talking about And this is the work of the devil constantly to blacken to accuse that's why i have those who accuse you to bring questions why the only reason is so that you cannot receive and if you receive you only receive something small but you not really be open to receive yes Yes. that's all that's all that's all